Hey Travis, this is Ashley. Um, I wanted to go over some information with you, uh, a couple of things, talk about some services we offer, and talk about what you could be looking for and, and so on. So to start, I wanted to, um, I went and Googled HVAC Charlotte NC, and this is right here is called a map pack. And the top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of work because they're super easy to find and they're listed right away. And the way you can get yourself into these top three is by first having a Google business profile. Second, filling out as much as possible with your name, your hours, phone number, any uh, photos, filling everything out. And the third is putting your business name, address, and phone number into as many online po directories as possible. And the directories are things like Yelp and Yellow Pages and, and Angie. Um, having your information in those online directories are really going to help power your profile. And websites uh, listed below, below this, are called the organic search. And the same things apply. You want to be on the front page and ideally within the top three so people can find you. Not including Yelp, Angie's, but organic where you pull up and go straight to the website. So that would be considered organic. Um, so the main thing you want to do with your site, so that you want to have about you'd want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And this is for a few reasons. The first reason being is that your competitors, if say for instance, they had about 1,000 words on their homepage, you're going to want to have about at least 1,500 words because you want to beat out how much content your competitor has. And the second reason is that Google has what we call crawlers that go through, they read the content of the website and try and figure out what services that your business offers and then what areas that you serve, and the more content you have on the site, the more of an expert you're going to look like in Google's eyes. And within the content, we have what we call keywords. And keywords are things that people are searching for. So, for example, how I Googled HVAC Charlotte NC, if you have HVAC Charlotte NC all over your website, it's, really, it's going to become really relevant for that search. And Google is going to be more willing to put your website higher to the top. So when you look at your website, it's really important to make sure you have enough content on there and the keywords throughout. That's really going to help your website rank. And just pulling it up, you know, it's it's a absolutely well laid out site. Uh, like I said, the only thing that could be, you know, uh, changed on is just adding some more content to be able to put in those keywords. But otherwise, you know, it looks it's it's a great website regardless. But uh, like I said, just to have a, a little bit more opportunity for some content to put in those keywords. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to take a look at why, let's just say, for instance, pulling up information. So McClintock Heating and Cooling. Okay, they're in the organic search. I wanted to pull up and just see, you know, why they're in the top three in the organic search. Keep in mind, they're not in the top three of the uh, map section, but they're still on the front page. So I'm just kind of trying to see, like, what, you know, what's making them stand out. So I have a paid program that, that I can use, and I put them in here so we can see what you're up against. And another thing I wanted to go over also was the UR and the DR ratings, because these are super important when you fall within the Google search results. And a UR rating is essentially a trust rating with Google, and a DR rating is a power rating with Google. And so these numbers are looking at the overall site, how powerful it is, how trustworthy it is, and the higher up that they are, the more powerful your site is, and the better you're going to rank in the search results. And one of the ways you can increase these numbers also is through a thing called a backlink. And a back, all a backlink really is is just a shout out from another website that's endorsing you, and they send a link back to your site through a clickable text. So we can click on the backlinks that they, that your competitors have, go through those, and get those for your website, and then get additional ones as well. So last and most importantly, I want to talk about the organic keywords within the content that I was talking about before. So for example, I'm pulling up, I want to pull up the keywords that are on McClintock website just to see what are, what's being searched for primarily on the back end of their website. Um, so aside from, you know, the name of their company, we have HVAC Repair Charlotte NC. So 150 people a month are looking for these particular keywords. HVAC Charlotte NC, which is exactly what I typed in. 800 people are looking for those particular keywords a month. Okay, Charlotte HVAC, 300, um, and so on and so on. So this right here is a representation of the people that are searching for these particular, you know, and it go the list goes on. You know, it's HVAC contractor, heating and air, uh, Charlotte. So, you know, just showing you that these people are searching for these keywords every single month 
could be an opportunity for you to put those keywords into, you know, in the content on your website. And it's really important to get in front of these people. And if you're able to get in front of more people that are searching for those terms, um, the more people are going to, the more people that are going to find you and the more people that are going to, to call you and in turn more business you're going to land. Um, I wanted to show you also real quick what's going on in the back end of your website just to give you an idea. Um, now keep in mind, like I said, uh, McClintock's not even in the top three, but this, this is the amount of business that they're garnering, you know, through their website every single month, 13, 1300 people are, are going through their website a month. Yours, you have about 283 people that are, are coming through your website a month. Okay. So there's, there's, you know, ample opportunity to be able to ramp that up for sure. So I hope this information was helpful and I look forward to hearing from you and discussing any opportunities. So, um, hope you take care and have a great day.